You deserve all the glory, Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the glory, Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the honor, Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve all the honor. Yahweh, Yahweh, you deserve all the worship. Yahweh, Yahweh, you deserve all the worship. Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, my Father, my Father, I worship you. I lift it all up to you because you alone are worthy. Worthy to be praised, worthy to be honored, worthy to be worshipped. You are such a great God. You are a glorious God. You are a beautiful King. You are a wonderful Father. Hey, yeah, Papa. Thank you, Papa, for this day. Thank you for this beautiful gift of life and love. Thank you for this other opportunity to continue sharing from my notes, right, from my uh, recent retreat, uh, learning about true worship from the threshing floor. I just give you all the glory, Papa. I celebrate your majesty. I thank you, my Lord and my King, my Savior, Jesus Christ. I give you all the glory. And you, sweet Holy Spirit, my precious, precious helper, 24-7, my guy, my old guy, I hail you. Hey, come and help your girl again this morning to do this. Thank you so much, Lord, for healing, for restoration, for everything, Papa. I give you all the glory. Bless us all, your children all over the world, and continue to strengthen us as we press on. And as we worship you in spirit and in truth from the threshing floor, from wherever we find ourselves, because you deserve it all. The glory, Father, the glory, Son, the glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Amen. Yes, Papa, I want more of you. Please do to us, Seigneur. Please do to us. Okay, well, my special LHM tribe. You see, I'm doing so, so much better. And then, yeah, in 20 days, I will be leaving social media for six months. And I'm looking so forward to it. So I work in obedience and I am grateful. And um, yeah, so let's do this. Indeed, I, I have some few more things to do. And then I am like free to fly, do whatever I want to do until the 31st of October, 2024. Woo! Maybe I will let you in on my next assignment. Maybe not. Whatever be the case, we thank God for everything. Okay. So um, today I'm looking at um, the second part, sharing my notes from my job in the retreat. And I'm going to be looking at um, practical things like characteristics of a true worshiper, and all of that, but I thank you. So yeah, some characteristics um, seen in life, or seen in the life of a true worshiper of God. If you are one, then good. You join. Greet you, whoever is watching. I also thank you for joining me live. <laughs> okay, the first characteristic is that you should have a thankful life. To live a life of worship before God requires a thankful heart and attitude and you don't only have that when you are in the presence of the bread and you're like, oh, I feel his power over me the glory is here you know, all the time meaning that even when you're going through tough times and you're on the threshing floor you're being persecuted and all of that you're still thanking god for the gift of life is this thing on me? I don't know me. Oh, yeah, okay, it's on. <laughs> okay, well, um, second characteristics. You know, me, I call these things from the net that the Spirit was leading me to learn. So it's not like I know these things from, 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 and I am learning and I am praying for the grace to 
really, really, really be embedded, yes, with these characteristics. And I know that the Holy Spirit is there to help me 24-7. Amen. So I pray that that should be your case also. Second characteristic is a sanctified and holy life. Some people don't want to hear about it. It's like you yeah, are raising the bar too high. God deserves it all. Wow. If Even just to get into ministry, the bar is high, standards are high. You want to get into God's um, army of worshippers and warriors and everything, the bar is high. So uh, if you think it's too high, go to him and complain. No. But that's the characteristic of a true worshipper before God. So if it's before men, you can just be singing, ah, do the drama, put the light, dress up. Ah. But if it's before God, then you you don't come to him with a heart that's not pure and with dirty hands. So I examine myself daily and um, I pray for forgiveness daily and uh, for grace. And the good Lord knows my heart. Let me just stop at that. To each their hearts and all of that. Okay. A repentant heart, a heart that's the next characteristic. Of course, you, you, you cannot, you cannot, for example, bear a grudge against somebody. And then you say, ah, I'm living me my holy life, I'm living a sanctified life. Yeah, yeah. In short, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So it's best to repent every day because there are sins of omission, there are sins of commission. So you, you, I cannot say that. Nobody can say that. You know, so... Um, the best thing is that just always come before him with a repentant heart. Amen. Of course, a humble heart. If you are not humble, you cannot even repent. Not to talk or restitute. Not to say, I'm sorry. Not, oh my goodness. You know, and, and for example, not to, you have to be humble enough to express yourself to somebody and not be a hypocrite. Because sometimes we think humility may just take it all. No, humility also means that, um, Go and let the other person know that you've been hurt. And uh, yes, be ready to turn away. Yeah, away. yeah, I was talking about humility and uh, saying that if you are not humble, cut the slack. And the Lord despises the proud and he, he lifts up the humble. So let me better be humble and let me go and man to humiliate me. Because my father will lift me up and that will be true worship before him. So I'll rather, and I've done it. Uh, I'm okay, okay. An obedient heart. <laughs> the Lord says, go to full for one month to sleep on the floor. I pack up and I go to full for one month and I sleep on the floor. The Lord says, do this, I do this. If he says, apologize, apologize. If he says, give this, I give. If he says, that is what an obedient heart means. And the Lord considers that to be true worship. Oh, la. So it's not only about going to church just because you have to go to church and leading worship just because you have to lead worship and making all of that noise and all of that just because you have to do it and try to impress the people, you know, hey, stuff like that. And come online and say, share, 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 join, join, join. And if you don't have thousands of followers, all of those things, you are sick about it. Ah, don't put God's name there. Oh. Ah. Okay, you have to be a lover of God's word. Uh, if you don't love God's word now, you are worshipping him based on what and what are you going to use? Because let's even just take singing, you know. Those words also come from his words, the words that they mix up and everything. So it's a good thing, right? Okay, you have to have a passion for his presence. Oh my God. I mean, I could be outside now. I was just like... Papa, me, I want to stay me here. You know, I this room is called my serene space, my sacred space and everything. So I really, really, really love to stay in here. And um, so um, when I can, I stay here. Sometimes I have to go out because, of course, I'm not an island. Um, but for the main part, I love to stay in this space. You know, I just really feel him so much there because that's an altar I raised for him and and so I love to be around that. Okay, and you have to be a person of faith. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ and his saving power and all of that, then there's no, uh, there's no points, right? So you must do that. Oh, my God. I wanted to, 
add the lights, but I don't know how to do it. Okay, well, maybe I have to put on the torch. I don't know. Can it come on? No, it can't come on. I don't know what has happened. They say the connection is slow. It doesn't matter. It's not about me anyway. So um, if you can hear what I say, you must not necessarily see me. Haha. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I also learned about um, four scriptural types of worship. Wow. So there were types of worship. It's not just about um, the one in church. Oh, oh. So worship as homage or grateful submission to God. So if you are paying homage to God, even lying on your bed, you are submitting to him to stay in this room for 21 days or for three days, or for seven days, or whatever. That's you are worshipping him. Wow, Papa. Worship as service to others. Yeah. Some people's ministries are service ministries. They're worshipping God. Especially if you are doing it from a heart, uh, a clean heart, you know, and and, and um, the pure spirit. Uh, you are doing it also in obedience to his um, instructions. You are not just doing your own kind of thing because, well, People will clap for you. <laughs> oh. Worship as reverence or respect for God. Of course. If it's not out of reverence, you are doing it on your own. We all know what reverence is. So nah, I learned I was grateful. I was grateful. See, you're still learning all of these things. I was so grateful. Worship and congregational gathering. So the ones where we go out, you know, because, well, we are not an island and Scripture tells us not to forsake the guardian of the saints. Indeed, that's my dress I'm wearing on Sunday. I, I knew what I would wear like since when I came back. The Holy Spirit tells me, I ask him, I prefer to just surrender everything to him. Maybe what I'm wearing today is the one who says she wear. I love it like that. So before I go for those guardrails, I, I prepare. Like even as a worker in church, we have preparing, preparing a prayer meeting for 90 minutes on Saturday like crossover into Sunday morning from midnight to 1.30 a.m. For me, that's already it. It has started. So I am already like steeped and that's worship. So I don't need to wait and get to church and the uh, worship leader starts singing because, uh, you know, spirit to spirit ministration. So, um, okay. We should worship the God of scripture, the God of holiness, righteousness, Love and mercy, not the God of our own making. True worshippers, we will worship God, not necessarily because they feel like, but because God is more than worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Worthy to be praised. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Worthy to be praised. Is this thing still on? <laughs> okay, so whether I am sicko or I am broke or I am sad, in every situation, I worship my God. I will worship Jesus forever. I will worship him every day. Ah, I will worship my God forever. I will worship him every day. So, yeah, true worshipers who will sing their songs in the night. Oh, my God, there's a new habit I have developed, and I really want to thank the Holy Spirit for that. Sing a song to the Lord as I am sleeping, or just praying tongues, any of those things. I I just love it. It takes me, and then by the time I'm waking up, I realize that there's also a song on my lips, or there's a prayer, or there's something. It just keeps me in that atmosphere. And um, yeah, da, 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 da. even when there's an attack, I can fight very easily and courageously. And I'm like, "Are you mad? You bastard!" Get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around you. Holy God, deal with him. And then ah, <laughs> you could be such fun and easy and everything. Yeah, so um, 
There are three pillars of worship. I found out the worship that is required. Uh, includes the meaning of submission and love, and it consists of three pillars. They are the love of God, hope of God, and the fear of God. We've said that before. If you don't love God, like you are not responding to his love for you, then what are you doing? Oh, you don't know what you're doing, though. If you don't hope in him, you don't. your only hope is not in Jesus. You know, you're, you're just like, ah, whatever. Uh, let me try this way, let me try that way, let me try that way. Then no, you are not worshipping now. You are just singing songs to entertain and make your money and all of those kind of things. Or oh, have your fame, your accolades and all of those things. Uh -huh. And if you don't fear God, like you don't have that reverence, you can even call his name. And uh, you can, he can do signs and wonders to you. But you yourself know, and he knows of, above all. That ah that one is just using my name, and I am also just using them. But uh, between there and I, there's no relationship. Oh, finally, seven everyday ways to worship the Lord. Wow, surprise, surprise! Number one, admire the wonders of nature. Yeah, when you take a short walk around your neighborhood or local park or. You know, like in the village, as I'll be going there and I've gone there and everything. And you're just looking around, like, wow. One day I woke up, I, I was doing vigil, and then there were stars. Oh my God, and all of that. And I was just, and man, I was hey, Papa, you do it. Oh, Lord, thank you, my Lord. That's worship. So um, eh, that's one way. Another way is dedicate a sacrifice of silence to the Lord. This one I just learned that day. This they even say that set aside a 24 hour period and try to remain still. My own was an instruction 72 hours, ah and that was worship that sacrifice indeed. 72 hours. I open it just to brush my teeth, shower, zip it up. My god, the Lord told me to 72 hours, not even 24. Hey, Papa, you just think me start very wild like that. <laughs> yeah, but I survived. So yeah. he has told me that I'm a big mommy, I'm a soldier. So soldiers, they don't give them to relax. So uh, okay. Oh. Read scripture aloud. This one I'm just learning. Uh, yeah, there's a difference. Try, you see. What can I tell you? Huh? Memorize scripture, apart from the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> I'm also learning, uh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? <laughs> he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Start with those simple ones. Uh, well, let me not say simple, but start with the ones that you can easily remember. Then gradually, gradually. You know, I'm more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Just be learning and go and say, Holy Spirit, help your girl. Oh. Holy Spirit, help me. Oh. Okay. Sing a song of praise. And that one is easier, right? Because um, it comes and then we listen a lot to all those gospel artists. <laughs> and so sometimes what they sing comes back to our memory. That's what we listen to often. Oh, my God. <clears throat> There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like my Lord. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Him. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like my Lord. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Him. Oh, I think it's there's no one. It's easier. Yes. Yeah, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one like my Lord. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one like He. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one like my Lord. Oh, there's no there. Uh, a song that you put on my heart recently. No, just go straight to nobody. Yeah. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like my Lord. Nobody like Jesus, nobody like He, nobody like Jesus, nobody like my Lord, 
Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like him. Nobody like Nobody like Nobody like Nobody like him. Amen. I love others, right? Love one another as I have loved you. No matter how difficult and painful it will be. One thing the Holy Spirit put on my heart, and um, I love it, and I know it's true, is that you can love from a distance and that there are different ways to love people. There's tough love. There's all kinds of love. So don't, don't go kill yourself because people don't respond to the love you show them. Just continue to love on them. And if it means we join and just loving from a distance, we draw love from a distance. If it means loving them to pray for them, just do that. If it means loving them in silence, remember silence is worship. So <clears throat> don't let nobody guilt trip you or you don't talk anymore. You don't respond to my blah, 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 blah. There are people who even love you and you will not even know. They don't talk to you and everything, but they love you so much. And that people will be there in your face around you. I love you, I love you, Ash. Yeah, they show you Amber. So which one do you prefer? Okay. Finally, pray through a psalm. I love that one. I learned about it. I think it was last year. The Lord was like, pray with my word. Must you pray a point? Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, you think I don't even know what you need before you ask me? Like right now, I have a need, and I'm like, Papa, even that, thank you. Now, I want to tell you how you know, no. So, hey, Papa, I praise you. Now, you, hey. Ah, you see, be my shepherd, no. Oh, I cannot want to. I shall not want to. Hey, if you want make me to lie down beside you, what that? You know, you pray like that, you tell her that, ah, he loves that. Anyway, he told me that he loves that. Okay, so, may the good Lord help us all, his children. As we strive to worship him daily in spirit and in truth. You yourself, you know your truth. You know the truth. You know not your truth, but the truth. And you know what it means to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So before it even comes out of your mouth, it has to be in your spirit. It has to be a song from your heart. If not, leave them. Huh? Okay, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And yeah, I like to say Holy Spirit take over because the Holy Spirit doesn't take over. I'm done. And um, I just want to share this. The Lord has also got me to worship him with my diet. And um, yeah, I am on a no salt, no sugar diet. And I'm also a vegetarian now. And all of that, I offer it all up to the Lord. I once wanted to become one for, you know, just my own kind of reasons. But now because the Lord is the one who has put, set me on that path, that lifestyle, he wants it. I offer it all up to him. And I just thank him each day for grace to go through one day and one day and one day. And so it's possible for you also to um, let the Lord turn it around for you. So you start to worship him in spirit and in truth and that you don't feel bad if you cannot, you don't have that voice. Or oh, you don't you don't attend the praise and worship concert and all of those things. Uh, yeah. I once attended one and that's why I went and met the devil, to be very honest. Uh, and he's there with me. And uh, the victory belongs to Jesus. So be very careful living about uh places you go to and all of that. Whatever be the case, may the good Lord help us. Father, thank you so much. You deserve it all. I offer it all up to you. And the rest of this day, Papa, I wanted to start with this. Take all the glory. Bless those who will watch. Bless those who will think about it. We'll start worshipping you with their own. Thank you for all I gleaned from. Thank you for all my spiritual, um, all my leaders. Thank you even for the top, top, top lessons from the. <laughs> oh, la, 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 ba, Papa, I give you all the glory. Oh. Hey, uh, thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you for your word. Thank you, my Holy Spirit, my comforter, my guide, my teacher, my helper. Huh. Okay, in Jesus' name, I pray this morning. Amen. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> 
I know the day for the third part that will be on Sunday, says the Lord. And I am looking so forward to it when I come back from church by grace. And um, yeah, until then, take care of yourselves. God bless us all. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this network. Um, it kind of behaves itself. Where do I stop this life now? <clears throat> I don't even know where to stop the life. Oh, Lord. How do I stop this thing? Oh, yeah, I had to do that. 